This is the first terabit server. That's trillions of bytes of data. It's a large machine consisting of a console, consisting of storage units. Two pieces are missing, a control console and a robotic arm which was used to obtain and retrieve data. This is a 1967 computer when it was first put into operation. It was 23 years later, actually 33 years later, before a computer in the year 2000 could store and retrieve as much information as this system. It wasn't fast, two and a half to three minutes to store and retrieve, and it wasn't like anything that you'll use today. It's a photo development system. We we'll take a piece of uh, photo material, develop it, imprint the information, store it in a box, and give a copy to the person who requested it. It used wire guides and pneumatic tubes to control a robotic arm. What did the robotic arm do? From the control console, you would tell it where to go. It would go to the racks, which had all the information. The robotic arm would twist and turn, find the correct drawer. In the drawer were little boxes called chips. In those boxes huh, were film strips, 38 images for each film strip. The robotic arm would <coughs> grab the drawer and open it would take a little nomadic, a little pneumatic sucker, pick up the box, carry it back to the system here, put it in a slot. The box would open with a control in the slot. It would read the magnetic and the optical film strips, find the right control card, take a blank strip, copy it, put it through a photo development process and when it was finished put the original back and give a copy to the, to the person who requested it. Seven of these machines were built, only two operated successfully. They were shut down in the late 1980s, uh, almost 15 years before they would have had to have been shut down because of a better system. The reason they were shut down is the people who knew how to maintain them retired and were no longer available to keep them in operating condition. So a really useful tool was shut down 10 to 15 years before its useful life was complete.